Well, first tonight, we can reveal that over 100 so-called county lines have been identified across the East Midlands so far this year. A regional policing unit is targeting city gangs who expand into smaller market towns. Well, tonight we have a first-hand account of how children are groomed by those gangs and often end up dealing in squalid drug dens. Police say they are often victims of trafficking and modern slavery. This special report from our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball. A picture postcard marketplace where they're selling fruit and veg. But in nearby streets here in Newark, there's a trade in human misery. Criminal gangs from out of town selling heroin and crack. It's affecting the whole community. It's causing a lot of problems, especially people that are involved, families, friends. People are seriously affected by drugs. A lot of worried, yeah, Very because I don't, want, I don't want my kid touching drugs. We've come to see how the police are responding. A drugs raid in Balderton. They suspect this flat's been taken over by a county lines gang as criminals from out of town expand their trade into Newark using dedicated mobile phone numbers. Inside, the police are looking for any evidence of drugs, but now some suspected dealers are being treated as victims of crime, victims who need protection. That's because county lines gangs are accused of using vulnerable children to avoid getting caught. They're enticed into dealing with gifts like expensive clothes and drugs and then sent out to towns like this one and trapped by threats or debts. It's the third time this flat's been raided. Today, no one's in. But across the East Midlands, they've rescued children as young as 13 from so-called trap houses. We will find young children alone in a crack den where they have living in squalid conditions, supplying drugs, they've been beaten up or threatened to be beaten up and haven't eaten for three or four days. And now the five East Midlands police forces have set up a joint investigation team. Since the start of this year, they've identified 109 different county lines, each with their very own brand name. 27 have been linked to cuckooing, where gangs take over an addict's home. There were 13 lines where detectives suspect there's human trafficking and modern slavery, and seven county lines they believe are controlled by gangs using guns. I'm meeting a man from Nottingham who was sent to deal drugs in the south of England when he was only 15. We're disguising his identity to protect him from reprisals. I had to do as I was told, like, like I was in jail. Crack dens, hostels and stuff like that, they're, they're the places I was put in. It smells like dirty fish. How did they keep you there? They just either they threaten you. You're going to stay there because you don't want your friend getting hurt. You don't want your family getting hurt. They've got a big knife on the table like this, swilling it round as he's talking to you. Like Mainly something about that big, where if someone's coming through the door, you can go boom first. You're taking someone's life. It's horrible. So now they're trying to stop children being sent from cities like Nottingham with drugs. And this week, officers from Nottinghamshire and Lincolnshire joined forces with British Transport Police and a sniffer dog called Ross. We're looking for people that are maybe haven't got tickets, maybe people that should be at school, maybe people that uh, present or avoid police officers so we can engage with them, get an understanding of why they're using the network and to ensure their safety. You take cannabis, but you've got on today. Three young men are searched for drugs after police dog Ross smells cannabis, but they're not suspected of dealing. The gangs use youngsters to move their drugs to avoid getting caught. They found children from this city who've been trafficked everywhere from the Lincolnshire coast to Oxfordshire and as far away as Scotland. Isolated, vulnerable and miles away from home. I think every case is a shocking example because I don't think anybody wants to think of their children getting trapped in a drug's den with nobody around that cares for them. And that's prompted a new response from the police. Now they're looking for evidence about why people are involved in drug dealing and whether to treat them as criminals or victims of county lines gangs. Well, Jeremy is here with us now. We do seem to be hearing quite a lot about county lines at the moment. So, you know, is it a new, new problem or...? Well, we've been hearing for a number of years about kids being sent across the country mm. as drugs couriers. I think the thing is this is becoming more brutal and more organised. One detective was telling me that some of these kids are now being recruited on Snapchat. Real worries too about this cuckooing phenomenon where gangs go in and take over uh, a drug addict's home. I actually heard about one flat here in East Midlands being cuckooed that was right next to a police station. So this is becoming really brazen. Oh.
Wow. I mean, uh, are there any warning signs that young people are getting involved in county lines? Yeah, these kids, first of all, these kids often go missing and then reappear days later. And the police say, look, ask questions if kids are turning up, flashing the cash or perhaps with unexplained bruises that they don't want to talk about. Uh, they're asking taxi firms and bus firms to keep a lookout as well. Uh, and also, uh, back in Newark this week, the police have actually been visiting some of the local drug addicts to warn them about the dangers of drug gangs moving into their homes. Mm. Lots going on. Thanks, Thanks very much Jeremy. indeed, Jeremy.